What do we get now in Barack Obama? Well, I've got videos, by the way. This election, we're going to vet him. I've got videos. This election, we're going to vet him from his college days to show you why racial division and class warfare are central to what hope and change was sold in 2008. The videos are going to come out. The narrative is going to come out that Barack Obama met a bunch of silver ponytails back in the 1980s, like Bill and Bernadine Dorn, who, equally radical, said one day we're going to have the presidency, and the rest of us slept. That's the voice of Andrew Breitbart at CPAC uh, earlier this year, basically threatening the president with a series of videos from his college days. And now Breitbart is dead. Now, of course, one could say, come on, you don't mean that there was a conspiracy here. Well, I don't know. Do you? Walking in the street at night, 1230, dies of a heart attack. It does happen. Kids die of heart attacks at 15. So it's possible. On the other hand, given that we know what we have in the White House, given what we know from the uh, the the verbiage of the left, fun tape saying they'd like to kill 30 million Americans to see their revolutionary dream come true, we don't know. Are we allowed to ask the question? Should there be an investigation? Who are you going to investigate? Where do you begin? And who would do the investigation? Now, I didn't know Breitbart that well. I met him once or twice. Originally came up to see me, and we spoke. That is, he spoke for three straight hours. I was not unable to say a word. And then I once went to his, his home in, in, um, in L.A., beautiful wife, great children, four children, big party. And I told him, I warned him, I said, you're going over the edge here. You're supposed to be a journalist. Andrew, stop it. Do you know the difference between being a journalist and being an activist? He, I don't think he understood there was a difference in the danger he was putting himself in, both physically, in the sense of his own health, let's put it that way, emotionally, and every other way. I also thought that he was in too many places at once. I wouldn't say we were in a falling out. We didn't talk to each other for the last two years. He ignored me. I ignored him. And I would say he was a giant in the field. And he died too young, and he left the family too young. But I'm asking a question. If there's going to be an autopsy, which there is going to be, the L.A. County coroner is going to do an autopsy, uh, and I think they have to do in any case of death such as this, should we ask, are we allowed to ask the question? Do you, th let me ask my audience the question. What do you think? Do you think he died of natural causes from overwork, exhaustion, got a heart attack and died, or do you think it's possible? that he was executed, assassinated by some nefarious forces in, in America. Have we become, have we now become South America in the 1970s, where people start to disappear? I don't think I'll be walking on the streets of America at night alone. I told Andrew, by the way, to get a bodyguard. I told him that two years ago when we were still talking. I said, Andrew, slow down. Do you have any idea what you're doing here? He said, no, I don't need any anything, you know, I... I said, get two bodyguards. Don't walk alone at night in the street. That's what I told him. But well, he didn't listen to me. Apparently, he went, you know, went his own way. And that's, but he was a conservative uh, king, this guy. I mean, he really drove himself crazy by pushing himself over the edge, I think, too far. I told him, you have a wife and four children. What are you doing here? I mean, you could have just as much success by doing what you're doing without screaming and yelling and attacking people. This is the savage nation. We're talking about the death of a giant in the field of conservative blogging or journalism. He was a better journalist than anyone at AP. AP are the most biased left-wing fanatics I've seen in my life. So you can say, well, so was he. All right, fine. Don't say he wasn't a journalist. By what standard was he not a journalist? He did the journalism that they're not doing. He exposed ACORN and caused their defunding. You heard what Breitbart said. He said at CPAC, what was it, last month? He said that he has videos this election. We're going to get, we're going to vet the president. Videos from Obama's college days. I said, oh my God. Now, as you well know, even if he was, well, let's put it to you this way. Is there anyone in the audience who was in the cloak and dagger business who can call this show, 
put a napkin over the mouthpiece and tell us how you can induce a heart attack on someone without touching them. You know that going back quite a while in the world of espionage, they were killing people kind of silently. You could go to some of the uh, movies, touching them with an umbrella and they die, right? And then they find them and they had a heart attack. Well, what did they inject them with that causes a heart attack and then is dissipated from the bloodstream and from the tissues? Are there, are there newer methods that are electronic, for example? Can you, are there handheld devices where you can beam someone's uh, sinus, cardiac sinus, and kill them, cause an arrhythmia and kill them? I, I, hey, what an idea. New internet tool. Are there devices out there that you can literally beam at someone from 15 feet away at this solar plexus, cause an arrhythmia and kill them and walk away? So what do you think? New York, we'll start with you, Ferris, on WOR. Did, did this enter your mind or not? Uh, only a fool would, would ignore uh, that a 43-year-old man in vibrant health, who I spoke with at CPAC uh, two weeks ago, 10 days ago, Doc, uh, and who articulated his use of free speech in the airwaves in a way that uh, made this event expected on my part and anybody's part. Well, what, 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 you mean him dying? You think somebody killed him? Of course. Uh, how? What else could it be? Uh, connect the dots. Look at the man that you talked about, the, the the intelligence officer that was found in the dumpster. I'll tell you how James McDougall died. You talk about causing heart attacks. Here was a man who said on Wednesday that he would testify against the Clintons on Thursday. His name was James McDougall, president of Madison Guarantee Trust Company. Yeah. His wife was Susan McDougall, who slept with uh, Slick Willie. Yes. And he went to prison, as did his wife, rather than to testify against Slick Willie. Yes. And then he said, okay, I'm an old man in frail health. I'll tell what I know about the Clintons and Whitewater on Thursday. Wouldn't you know it? I'll be darned. He died on the day before he was to testify. Where did he die? In a when prison he... cell. No, sir, not in the cell. They sent him to the hole. And you know prisons. We all no, know I don't know prison. No, I really don't know prison. He died in the prison, though, didn't he? But he died in, in the place where they send the worst of the worst. In other words, he was sent to the hole where there were no eyes. Mm -hmm. The hole was solitary confinement. He was removed from his prison, an old man in frail, frail hell. And he was sent to the hole where he had a heart attack, same thing Breitbart had. But the difference with Breitbart is Breitbart was 43 years old, in vibrant health, and you're the only one in the media who's given this the uh, coverage that it deserves. Everyone's running from it. Well, why shouldn't I ask that question? He antagonized the left-wing establishment, which runs this country. Is that correct? Of course. Use your, you're a wise man. Use your head. You think that any coroner is going to – you think this is in the control of any coroner? Forget about it. This is in control of, of the people that run the world, okay, who Obama works for. And they do not screw around. And it's well, what is this about tapes he was going to release? Now, here's the thing. He's dead. He says he had videos, and they're going to get vet these videos, videos from Obama's college days to show you blah, 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 blah. Who has those videos? Where are they? Well, I can only hope that Breitbart, being the bright guy he is, has those spread around so far and wide that by eliminating Breitbart, they haven't... Uh, 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 block the release of the tapes, but this is a message for, for you and all the other talkers and all the other truth-tellers, and that is they hope that you will cower.